It's December the 13th and the word is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. That was what is written up uh, on the church inside on the wall behind where the person preaches from. Jesus Christ is Lord. Well, who gets to tell you what to do? Wow. You? Well, maybe when you're little, it was your mum or your dad or a school teacher. But now who gets to tell you what to do? Now you're grown up. If you have, that is. Who gets to tell you what to do? Maybe it's a, a spouse. Maybe it's a close relative. Maybe it's someone who you know really loves you and wants the best for you. That's who get, could get to tell you what to do. But even then, we resist, don't we? Jesus Christ is Lord. That's the message that the angel of the Lord brought to the shepherds. The anointed one, the Messiah, which we looked at yesterday, is Lord. He's the master. He's the boss. He's the one who gets to tell people what to do. More than that, he, he, he owns us. He owns all of creation. And we will give an account to him, to the Lord of all. But we resist, as I mentioned a moment ago, we resist this. But because he is not just another master or another boss or another member of your family, no, he is the Lord of history himself. He is Jesus Christ. It means that though we might not submit to his lordship now, we're told in scripture, every knee will bow and every tongue confess Jesus Christ is Lord. So you either submit to him now and have a loving relationship with him and you'll enjoy all the blessings, all the benefits because he really does love you. So you can really trust him when he calls you to do things. Or you can wait and delay and hold off and then bow the knee on that awful day if you haven't bowed the knee before in the day of judgment when he returns to judge the living and the dead. So submit to Jesus Christ as Lord today.